Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in Rockford, Illinois at the local courthouse where a frauditor ends up getting touched and he demands that that person be, well, put in jail. Oh, boy, dude. Want to go home and cry to your mama about it? Well, while he does that, let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Mm -hmm. Down at 420 West State Courthouse. Oh, yeah. The frauditor is just going to complete the ignore the uh, sign that says no recording devices of any kind. And it doesn't matter what the Supreme Court of Illinois said either in their rulings. I mean, come on now. Here it is in black and white. And you can look it up for yourself, frauditor. You don't have the authorization to do that. But no, you're just going to act like unaware or unconcerned about... uh jurors or uh, attorney uh, client privileged information or anything like that. No, no, it's not. You're not concerned about that at all, frauditor. No, he doesn't mind if any of that gets out on the internet and p could potentially compromise a case. No, he's just concerned about getting clicks and views on YouTube. Oh, hey, don't touch him, sir. Don't, do not touch him. Call, call the cops. Yeah, well, they're coming to escort you out of the building. They, we already got the clearance. We're not going into the courtrooms or nothing. You don't get to film in here, period. You just put your hands on me. Yes, you just assaulted him. What's your name? Well, let me ask you something, dude. Uh, where'd you get the clearance from? And don't you dare say you got the clearance from the First Amendment because you got the judges who will know a lot better than you do what that's all about. Uh, and I'm sure that they didn't give you the authorization to film inside their courthouse. So where'd you get it from, dude? Because inquiring minds really want to know. And by the way, that court order that you just didn't read, uh, it says courthouses. So that means everything inside of the courthouse, which includes hallways, courtrooms, hell, even the bathrooms, which that may come up one day, too, because you frauditors like to push all the boundaries as far as you can. So I would love to see you at least try to walk into a women's restroom at a local Walmart and try it there. Oh, I'm sure you'd be trespassed and arrested. That would be fun to watch right there, frauditor. So why don't you go in and try it? Bob, Bob you're a crazy guy. No, 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 no. Don't touch him. You're uh, you're about to be a, a criminal in jail. <laughs> oh wait, you serious? Let me laugh even harder. <laughs> oh, since when did that become a law or a thing that you touch a frauditor and you automatically become a criminal? Uh, when? Yeah, when did that become law? I guess this just goes to show you that uh, frauditors believe that they have special rights and privileges above everybody else. That all you got to do is touch them and all of a sudden you're a criminal. You don't have to hit them. All you have to do is just lightly touch them and you're done with your life. But in all due seriousness, dude, you're not a freaking lawyer. You're just a complete dumbass. Leave. What is wrong with you? It's not an ordinance. That is a that is a court order. No, you you read the instructions on the door when you come in the when you come in the door. Calm down. I'm a piece of shit. Leave. 
Hey, how are you guys doing? That guy right there, over there, he keeps trying to attack my friend. Get these guys out of here. They can't film in here. Yes, we can. The, 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 the Lieutenant Joe uh, gave us the clearance. That we're not oh, so one of the officers gave you the clearance. Uh, yeah, I really doubt that the officer would be that freaking stupid to do so, to try to override the judge's orders, especially with the Supreme Court orders, you bloody moron, because that's where these orders that I showed on the screen came from, directly from the Supreme Court of Illinois. Do you actually think that a regular officer has that kind of authority to override the Supreme Court of Illinois? No, I don't think so. So there are two options here. One is that you're lying your ass off, or two, the officer uh, in question is risking his job because, well, for reasons. I mean, who knows what the reasons are, but I am going to say that it might be the first option. Going upstairs and in the courtrooms or nothing. What's Lieutenant, no, lieutenant Joe to uh, uh, Bloritz or something like that. He's the, he's the supervisor. He's the lieutenant for the sheriff's department. He gave us clearance. You can call him up. The supervisor, he said we're good to go as long as we don't go upstairs. We're not going upstairs into the courtrooms. Yes, we're allowed to document the We're free pests. We're allowed to document the building. We're not going upstairs. I don't know what Lieutenant is talking about. I'm yeah. sure he didn't tell you that. Yes, we were just down there at the CJC. What's the purpose of this? We're doc we're free press. Document we're what? free press. Document we're we're taking video of the building. We're free press. What do you mean for what? I don't have to tell you that. Well, then you ask me a question, I'll ask you a question. Yeah, I, okay, well, ask me a question, it actually matters. I'll ask you a question, why are you documenting? What, for what purpose? I told you for myself, for free press. That's what the purpose is. Oh my goodness, you just said you were documenting it for yourself. Well, dude, I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but uh, if you were actually the press, you would not be documenting it for yourself. You would be documenting it for the preservation of other people, not just yourself. So uh, please rethink your uh, uh, dialogue from this point on, because that just flat out sucked. You could try the uh, standard fraud or script line, I am here to disseminate information, blah, 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 which basically means you distribute it to other people, not just yourself. That way it seems more legitimate. I mean, think about these things, you freaking moron. What kind of press? Free press. You're a free press? Yes. I'm you're, a journalist. You're a journalist? Any credentials? I don't need to have a oh, credential. There's no such thing. So we just create our own stuff. Okay, that's fine. Can you call your supervisor out here? What's your badge number and your name? I ain't calling the supervisor. Why not? Sir, can you please call a supervisor for me? Call a supervisor? Yeah, he's not calling a supervisor. He's... Okay. That guy just put hands on him. What? That other guy just put hands on, the, on him for no reason. He can't put hands on him just because he has a camera. A little longer than a few minutes later. We're not causing the disruption. That guy is. No, no, no. That guy back there, the employee. He could have just simply asked us not to record and we would have kept him off the camera. But we are allowed to record back here. He put hands on him for no reason. You can't put hands on people. He's not a cop. Well, you didn't, we didn't break the law. To tell you the truth, cops can't put their hands on yeah. people for no reason. I yeah, he, he, yeah, I know. That's what I'm saying. We're not breaking the law. That's a court order. That's not a statute. Well, dude, perhaps you should really look into the public forum doctrine. And it has been established by the Supreme Court that, well, courts are a non-public forum. And therefore, you do not have the right to record within a court house which leaves me asking the question frauditor why is it that you guys fail to do any kind of research whatsoever i mean at least try to research and do a workaround try to figure something out make better cogent arguments and everything like that i mean do better dude now this frauditor will stand around for the next well 20 minutes or so 
whining and crying and complaining, but he doesn't get his way, and he tries it one more time with a security guard at the front and still gets no satisfaction. So let's just go ahead and roll that beautiful bean footage, shall we? Many unbearable hours later. Yeah, that's his name. Could you say that one more time? I forgot his last name. I know it's Lieutenant Ballard. Joe Ballard. Okay. They said they didn't know who Lieutenant Joe was. That's all I know him by. Yeah, that's who we're talking about. You guys, you do have arresting powers, right? Uh, uh, can we file? I want to file an assault and battery case on behalf of him. Well, Frauditor, do you want me to give my uh, little observation of what I just saw here? It seems to me like uh, you two were trying to get your story straight on which officer it was that authorized you to do so, which uh, pretty much says to me that you were outright lying about who this officer was and what they actually said. I mean, if it were me, I would have gotten that in writing so I could go back to the officer that gave me the permission to do so and make sure that it was legitimate. That way, it's all kosher. But I guess you really have no forward thinking whatsoever, do you, frauditor? And so therefore, this uh, little ending right here just made you out to look like a complete and total uh, idiotic liar. Uh, well, that's just par for the course with you morons. So at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one. Dude, so there's no way I can get in, bro? Come on, I'll put you on my YouTube. But shut up, Wesley. You gotta put signs up, ma'am, if it's- Are you Glenn Serio? Who's that?